everyone welcome to this new tutorial today I want to show you how to create custom reports in EntopNG in fact in EntopNG 6 we introduced a new editor for creating custom reports EntopNG now features this new reports view that you can use to analyze your traffic on a fast time interval in the reports view you have this drop down where you can select a different template which is a different view of your historical data so you can select a template you can select a time interval for instance i want to see the data matching last day or you can specify any arbitrary interval you can zoom in and out you can refresh the data or as we have seen in a previous webinar, you can save the report to the machine where EntopNG is running. You can open a report from the machine. You can download a report to the, your laptop, to your machine running the browser. Or you can upload a report that you previously downloaded. You can also print reports and the new feature is the ability to create a new template a custom template that you can customize in order to get your desired view of the historical data in addition to those uh, actions we also added the ability to filter your data based on the VLANs on the networks on the protocols categories and layer 7 applications now let's see how to create a custom template what we see now is the default report let's choose for instance last week all the report gets updated based on the time interval that you just selected and here in the default report you can see a few pie charts with the top categories, top applications and top protocols in the selected time interval. Scrolling down, we have a bunch of tables like the top local hosts, remote hosts, the top clients, servers, receiver networks, vendor networks, autonomous system information, countries, the traffic uh, from the time series and the top alerted hosts. So this is the default report that we built for you, but as I said, in the latest version, it's also possible to use the template editor to create custom templates. So by clicking on the new template button, you can create a new template by specifying the template name, for instance, my template. As you can see, an empty template has been generated. This template can be selected from this drop-down, and when you select a template that you created using the Add Template action, a new icon appears here in the toolbox. This allows you to switch to the editing mode. So let's click here. As you can see, we are in the template editor. Here we have the ability to add components, widgets to the new template or delete the template. Clicking on the add widgets button, we can customize our template, starting adding components to our template by selecting one from this list of components that includes pie charts, tables, time series charts etc so for instance let's add the top applications pie chart top categories i don't know the top protocols and then for instance the interface chart you can also drag and drop the components to change the order of the widgets in your template you can of course delete the widgets let's add them back again 
So it's always added to the end of the template, but you can drag and drop and move it again at the top of the template. And you can modify the components. So you can see here a pencil where you can click and you go in editing mode for that widget where you can customize, for instance, the name, my top categories, apply. You can customize the size of the widget. For instance, you can set the width from small to medium and back to small. Or you can change the data that you see in your widget. For instance, if you want to compare in the same report the data today and yesterday, you can change the time offset here. For instance, in this specific component, I want to see the data one day before. As you can see, this is minus one day. So I can add one more widget with the data today to compare today and yesterday. If you need more customization for your data, you can use the advanced settings. All the widgets that we have in the report, they are using the RESTful API for getting the data from the EntopNG backend. As you can see here, we have the URL of the endpoint that the widget is using to get the data from the EntopNG backend, and you have all the parameters. So here you can customize the parameters. For instance, in this case, we see the top categories for the current interface, which is selected in the top dropdown. But if you want to compare, for instance, the data of this interface, the current interface with a specific one, we can manually change here the interface ID of the interface that you want to use for visualizing the data. As you can see, the template editor does not have any save button. This is because all the changes that you make to the template using the editor are automatically saved in EntopNG. You should not worry about saving after every change with the fear of losing your changes. After editing the template, you can just click again on the template editor button to switch back to view mode. Now, if you jump to another page in EntopNG and you come back to the traffic report page, you will see the default report again. But you can go here and select your template to come back to your custom template. And of course, you can click again on the template editor button to come back to the template editor and continue editing your template. That's all for today. So enjoy the template editor and the new features and the latest EntopNG release. And let us know if you have any suggestion for further improving the features that we add every day. Enjoy and have a nice day.